All right, hi, uh, Torin. Yes, hi, Torin. Uh, this is a pop up love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Venus, especially. All right, if you have questions about getting a personal reading, please check the description box. All right, so Taurus, we're going to see who's coming towards you, what they do for work, why are they coming, and what's the important message. All right, let's go. So, first, we're going to see your energy, your higher self. Which usually wins. How does your higher self feel about this connection, this other person, your energy? All right, how are you feeling about this, Torin? Okay, the devil card. Wow, so you're, okay, so your higher self is, this is, all right, what else on the other side? Yeah, we have the full card. So I'm getting your higher self feels like this connection is a toxic one. You need to free yourself from this person. I'm getting, I'm getting there's an unhealthy attachment here. Your higher self recognizes that with the devil card coming out. So I'm getting some, I'm getting like codependency. So I'm getting like, okay, so I'm getting like you need to free yourself. So with the devil card coming out, I'm getting there's some fear attached to that. There's, there's some fear attached to freedom or there's some fear attached to being alone or there's some fear attached to being without this person uh, in particular. All right, but I'm getting the situation. You, okay, your higher self feels like you... This is not a good connection for you, all right? Let's see. I don't think it's contributing to the, you know, your development. Okay, let's see. Their higher self. Okay, their higher self. Let's see. The moon card. Okay, so, and then we have the chariot. So, it looks like, so I'm getting double cancerian, double cancer coming out. So I feel like they know they need to move on too. So I feel like both of you are kind of in the same boat. Your higher self is like, this is toxic, let's move on. Their higher self is like moon card chariot. They know they need to move on too. So I feel like both of you are attached to one another. So, okay. All right, but I feel like they are kind of moving on secretly, Torin, without your knowledge. Because, yeah, the moon card, the chariot, they're actually, I feel like they're moving on without you even knowing about it. Yeah, we have the strength card. So I feel like the person coming towards you could be a Leo. This is someone who does not divulge what they're going to, this is, this is someone who does not divulge what they're going to do first. This is someone that you, they, this, this person does not show their hand at all. You'll never know what this person is doing until they actually do it, until it's actually done. They don't show off, they don't brag, they don't talk shit, they just do it. All right, so I feel like this is someone, they're very secretive, they're very discreet, okay? So I'm like, I said it could be a Leo. All right, the strength card, but I'm getting like somebody with big hair, I'm getting like blonde, brown. Also, like somebody with like streaks, uh, highlights, really, really big eyes. This person has a very strong pensive stare. They they look, they stare into your soul. All right, let's see what else. I'm getting like somebody with a really cute mouth, like really, really cute lips. Their lips are really cute, kissable. All right, I feel like somebody's like really cute. They have a really cute disposition, their persona. Yeah, but they're very intelligent. They could be kind of cold, somewhat of an asshole, the king of swords. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's very loyal. They're very warm. They're you know they're very loving. Okay, that Leo energy. They're okay. They uh they make you they make you feel very loved. But I'm getting they can also be a very an asshole towards you. So they can really they can switch it up real quick. So I feel like this person is hot and cold. I right, was the King of Swords. Really really smart though. I'm getting like I'm getting like somebody is a savant. Yeah, so they they are this person is a lot more intelligent than what they lead what they let on. Like this person is smart as shit. I feel like somebody's a mastermind. This, this, so I'm getting Aquarius. Leo, Leo, Leo Aqua, really intelligent. The King of Swords is a genius. Okay, yeah. What was the King of Swords? Yeah, mastermind. All right. The three of swords, yeah. So this is this person has a this person is very cunning. So I'm getting North Node in Aquarius or Aquarius Moon. This person, they they are very sensitive. I'm getting like they cry at the drop of a hat. So they're they they're I'm getting they're very vulnerable. They're very susceptible to attack. They do shed tears. They, they'll cry over anything, but they're very, very, they're very sharp though. Getting a savant. Really intelligent. But also very sensitive. Aquarius energy. All right, let's see. Yeah, they're very sweet. All right. So I'm getting like somebody who's very soft-spoken. They're, they're easily hurt. They're charming. 
Right. This is like some. They like this person loves like jazz. They love wine. They love classy shit. They love beautiful things. It could be uh, a Libra. It could be any sign really. But all right, let's see what else. They like to wear silver jewelry, earrings, bracelets, things like that. Uh, silver is preferred over gold. They don't. I don't think they don't wear gold at all. They like silver jewelry. Yeah, we have. They also like seafood. Yeah, we have the moon card. Yeah, so they. I feel like this person. They're not moody. They're not shifty. I almost, I almost want to say like their emotions is, reminds me of like a segue. They kind of, you know, they kind of smoothly transition from one persona to the other. All right, kind of smooth, like very suave. I feel like this person's very smooth. Okay, one more, one more card. Yeah, the magician. Like I said, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I knew that card was gonna come. I was waiting for it. that's that this that sauce. Yeah, cheap by cheap. So I'm getting Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody has a lot of personality. It's a lot to this person. All right. Um, you'll never quite. You'll never truly understand them, especially if they have Jupiter and Gemini. They know a lot of shit. They have a lot of different interests. Their mind jumps from one run idea to the next rapidly. Okay, so their their mind is very shifty. Shifty. Their mind never sleeps. So I'm getting. I'm getting. They can. They can have a conversation pretty much about anything and everything. They have a. They know a lot. This person is very very brilliant. All right. Why are they? What they do for work? So that they they may come off very squeamish or like flighty or they may come off like kind of aloof or like a little bit crazy. But they are smart as shit. Are right, what they do for work? I feel like this person is like, you know, I feel like you're dealing with an actual genius, an actual savant, a scholar, somebody who is very learned. All right. I feel like I feel like this person does not even they do they do not even need to read books like they have intuitive knowledge. Yeah, magician. All right. So I'm getting it's I'm getting it's full on genetics with this person. This is a very weird and but small, like significant detail. This is somebody who was breastfed. I just heard that. Weird, but it's true. All right, let's see. What do they do for work? This is someone who breastfeeds. Maybe you guys are talking about that. Breastfeeding. All right, what do they do for work? The Six of Swords, they travel. Okay, so they're, they're, they could be a travel agent. I'm getting a transportation Uber, Lyft, or maybe they work for an airline, something like that. But I'm getting there in transportation. So what they do for work? All right, let's see. What else? Six of Swords. Or they are they are a guide, spiritual guide, advisor. All right, let's see. That's, that's still transportation to me. Still transporting, guiding, leading. Yeah, we have the eight of cups. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm literally getting someone's a tour guide, or like a real estate agent. But I feel like somebody, somebody's guiding you, or they're driving. Or yeah, we have the king of cups. All right, and then we have the sun card. Okay, one more card for their work. The Seven of Swords. All right. So I feel like I feel like somebody drives. They have very exclusive clients. Excuse me. Or they carry very exclusive cargo, whatever they transport. The cargo is, is very exclusive or fragile or something like that. All right. Why are they coming towards you? All right. I'm getting like, I said that, I think I said that someone's a like professional traveler. So I think that too, yeah. Okay. So why are they coming towards you? The three of pentacles, they have a conversation, just period. They want to have a conversation or they want to collaborate with you. I'm getting that, I'm getting to, they want to introduce you to someone. They want you to meet somebody or they want you to work with someone, right? Just period. So they're coming towards you to have a conversation. There's going to, there's going to be a conversation had between you and this person and possibly somebody else. All right, let's see. Three of Pentacles. What else? I'm getting a three-way call. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so they want to talk about money, investing, or, you know, they they want to talk about being with you. The King of Pentacles is a, is a provider, a husband. All right, someone that you have children with. Okay, what else? Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. But I'm getting like I'm getting to like somebody wants to talk about business or investing, possibly. I'm getting I'm getting a conversation about money here. All right, let's see. Investing in something. Yeah, the, wow, a lot of money. Whew, so first of all, I'm getting the I'm getting I'm getting the music industry, like just period, or the performing arts. All right. 
So I feel like I feel like this person could be coming towards you that so that you could sign a deal, major deal. All right. Or like you guys are like, this is a relationship, it's long term. Okay. This is what somebody wants. Somebody wants marriage. Somebody wants forever with you. All right, let's see. What's the important message? I feel like too, like they I feel like somebody wants to, they want to start a family business or that you know. They want to start a family. Okay, let's see. Important message. Okay, forgiveness. Yes, yeah, so we saw that with the uh, Eight of Cups. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting like, it is, it's completely possible for this relationship to work if you stop being negative about it. Like, stop thinking negative about this person, about this relationship. Let this person love you, take care of you, whatever. All right, so I'm getting like you need to forgive. Let go of that old shit. All right, let's see. Move on with your life. Move on with this person. If, they, if they're trying to give you this beautiful life, let them give it to you. All right, let's see. Yeah, if you're still holding on to some shit like from years ago, let that shit go. Even from months ago. It says, I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Yeah. So I feel like they want forgiveness. I'm getting, I, I don't see any reason why you should not forgive them. Maybe they manipulated you, lied to you, but that shit was a long time ago or it's in the past. Let it go. I feel like somebody is willing and ready to provide for you, be a family, be the man or be the woman that you want them to be. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.